solve this equation. Um, and a positive integers on the left hand side of the equation, we have the products of four consecutive numbers. On the right hand side of the equation, we have a perfect square. If we can write the left hand side of the equation as a perfect square, then the equation can be solved more easily. Now we look at the left hand side of the equation. By rearranging, we can write equals m times m plus 3 times m plus 1 times m plus 2. m times m plus 3 is equal to m squared plus 3m. m plus 1 times m plus 2 is equal to m squared plus 3m plus 2, which is equal to m squared plus 3m times m squared plus 3m plus m squared plus 3m times 2, which is equal to m squared plus 3m all squared plus 2 times m squared plus 3m. Now we add 1 and minus 1. The first three terms can be written as a perfect swab m squared plus 3m plus 1 all squared. So now we've written the left hand side of the equation as a perfect square minus 1. So the original equation can be written as m squared plus 3m plus 1 all squared minus 1 equals n squared. By rearranging this equation, we can now write m squared plus 3m plus 1 all squared minus n squared equals 1. We know that a squared minus b squared can be written as a plus b times a minus b. By applying this, we can now write m squared plus 3m plus 1 plus n times m squared plus 3m plus 1 minus n equals 1. So m squared plus 3m plus 1 plus n equals 1. m squared plus 3m plus 1 minus n equals 1. As 1 is the only factor of 1, equation 1 minus equation 2, we have 2n equals 0. So n equals 0. By substituting n equals 0 in equation 1, we can now write m squared plus 3m equals 0. These equations have the positive integer solutions. So the original equation has no solutions. Now we have an additional problem. Solve for p, q, p plus 1 times p plus 2 times p plus 3 times p plus 4 minus 8 equals q squared. p, q are integers. Thank you.